Hi guys, Adam Snake here. How's it all going? Yes. Zer is hanging down in the Guardian's Bar, which doesn't seem quite a popular destination. And probably his choice of gear is no, not so popular either. But let's have a little look. And once again, I am completely out of strange coins. I am a poor bastard this week. But, let's just get the normal stuff out of the way. So we have the emerald coil and we have the void drive to upgrade those wonderful blue quality rare sparrows. The heavy ammo synthesis with which you get three of them for one strange coin. The three of coins which you get five of for seven strange coins. And his new material, glass needles, which have not enough space. And moving over to the mode of light which you get one mode of light for two strange coins. So just to get this bit out of the way, you get your legacy engram, it's been heavy for the last few weeks. You will only get a year one heavy engram for a considerable amount of strange coins, which is bizarre. But don't buy this expecting a year two. I shouldn't need to be saying this anymore. A new helmet for the Titans this week. The Imperium Bellicose. It is literally the Angel of Light for Titans, so... Anti-grav thrusters. Aiming weapons whilst in midair will hold you in place for a short time, and orbs collected whilst your super is full will recharge your melee ability. So the idea behind this is that you will float around in midair when you aim down sight to pull off those crazy sniper shots in PvP. You got the increased intellect and discipline roll. That's more of a preference. You got inverse shadow, which is actually not too bad, actually gaining more energy from killing minions of darkness. Uh, double that up with the bad juju, you'll get some very quick supers. Gain bonus super energy from heavy weapons upon kills from the uh, minions of the darkness. And then we've got better already, shield starts recovery immediately after orb pickup. Not a bad helmet, just not really great. But it's one of those things, it's a kind of take it or leave it. It's going to be a fun helmet. I would happily pick one up because I'm a collectionist. But practicality wise, it's not quite on the same scale as the Helm of Saint 14. Hunters, something that's probably becoming a little bit more redundant nowadays. But we have the Mask of the Third Man for all of you wonderful blade dancers still out there. But unfortunately, it seems to be either going to be Golden Gun gunslingers or it's going to be the shadow shot void men whatever they are I can't remember <laughs> oh dear so we've got unstable current so arc blade uses less super energy so you can just do more swipes and awesome things personally I'm more of an increased intellect role on this to get your blade dancer more often but you've also got the facility to go increase strength on this role Again, we've got Inverse Shadows, so we are getting more super energy from killing it Minions of the Darkness. And we've also got Heavy Lifting. And Infusion replenishes health every time that you pick up an Orb of Light. So again, situational if there's orbs. And it, uh, fortunately enough, that's not when your super is full as well, so you'll actually be able to take full advantage of that. So, uh, mainly because this helm is absolutely important of using the Blade Dancer's subclass it's if you use it more but we're seeing a lot more people using shadow shots as their preferred super as a hunter I mean personally I haven't gone back to either using gunslinger or blade dancer but it's still a good helmet as I say just a little bit more redundant with people's tastes for a lot of the subclasses for hunters nowadays and we've got the skull of Daya Ahamkara for warlocks so this is more of a PV P helmet than PVE. So we've got Delusions of the Grandeur. You take reduced damage while using your Nova Bomb and improved Siphon abilities. I'm not huge on my Warlock, so I don't quite know what the Siphon abilities are. But you've got your increased discipline and strength roll, so again, you can kind of work it between if you want your melee or your grenades quicker. Hands on, gain super energy. I think we're seeing a pattern here, but this is from melee kills on minions not just general kills and second thoughts which you gain super energy from special weapons instead of heavy and then you got invigoration gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups 
So it's one of those things if you're, I, I presume it's more direct around the Void Walker melee abilities, just been able to do them more often and create more damage. And finally, we have the exotic engram for the chest piece or the body armor engram. Uh, if anything, Titans and Hunters, you will only be getting one year one, or oh, sorry, you'll only be getting one year two specific exotic out of this, which will be the Crest of Alpha Lupi. Warlocks, you've got a bit more choice, you've got things like Alcharist Raiment, and you've also got some of the year two, um, like Heart of Practice Fire and Starfire Protocols. So, Warlocks, you've probably got a bit more of a chance. Hunters and Titans, it's a take it or leave it for this engram, unfortunately. Well, that's Zer uh, this week. I say he's hiding out in the Guardian's bar. I think I'm going to have a drink. But thanks for watching, and I shall see you all later. Take care.